Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. I've just come back from taking maps for a walk on the field. Now, I wasn't feeling cross before I went out. This is a sort of experiment you say to me. Because I'm trying to find out what makes me annoyed leading up to going up to my mum's. Right. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 9.21 a.m. So I went out like this. I had this red and black top on, my jeans, different pair of trainers, and my black cap, because that's how I go out when I walk Max. It's casual. I don't think I look any different from any other day that I'm going outside. Um, so basically, I threw, some, I threw a black bin bag of rubbish into the dustbin, I did, before I left. The, the bearded male cleaner was pushing a trolley, collecting all the rubbish from the bins. So I walked down Common Creek Wolf with Max. There was a blonde young lady with glasses in a denim mini skirt with blue opaque tights walking past the male bearded cleaner and he said hello to her. Now I was walking on the opposite side near the road and an ups lorry, a brown ups lorry, came speeding down the road and I stayed to the side. Um, so I carried on walking. There was another lady with like brown dark short hair with a red t-shirt on walking down onto the riverside with a bigger dog. Brown. So all I want to do is walk my dog. You know, I just walk the dog and like Max to have a bit of a run around. The field was full this morning. I've gone out earlier than I usually do, uh, about half past eight in the morning. So I usually go out after ten sometimes when I've woken up late, but I went out earlier. So there was hooded people on the field, people with hoods over their heads. I mean, it is, it's not cold outside and it's not windy but there was two people with hoods hooded tops over their heads hoodies on i just carry on what i'm carrying on to do and that's trying to keep fit lose a bit of weight and enjoy myself because life is short what other people do is up to them i said unless they interfere in my business and annoy me so I was having a fairly decent walk. I did my exercises on the field. Max went off the lead for a bit. And then I carried on the way home. And I haven't spoken to one person, which it, it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to see my mum today and we talk to each other. But that's by the by. So I, I came back, right... And the lady that talks to me with the cats, that feeds the cat biscuits, shut the door as I was coming down. The older lady, she's a nice lady, she was going into her flat. She didn't slam it shut, she was just going inside the flat. Um, came into the flats around the back and there was an announcement. The train going to Ramsgate has been delayed by eight minutes due to a fire on the track, by the track. So the train going to Ramsgate this morning was delayed by eight minutes due to a fire, the train announcement. Got into the flats, they didn't look like they'd been cleaned yet because there was cake crumbs on the floor and track marks from a trolley or a pram and there was like crumbs on the floor like someone had eaten a cake and dropped it all over the floor and I've only been going outside my flat what about 45 minutes and there was no cake when I went out so when I came back there was pieces of cake on the floor 
and dirty marks and I come up the stairs and Max barked and my neighbour, female, was going into the lift with two bags of rubbish. Now she's got longer dark hair than me and she's thinner. And I said, Max, behave yourself because, you know, he barks. When someone comes out of, out of somewhere, but that's what dogs do. They alert you. If someone's hovering around where they shouldn't be, they, they alert you. They tell you that someone's there. Now, that, now, that's natural. That's nothing wrong with that. A dog barking at a sudden movement. I think the cleaners are actually outside cleaning. I can hear somebody. outside. Anyway, so Max and I jumped out of our skin on the field because a boat, a boat's horn went off really loudly and Max went off. He jumped. Max did. So the lady next to me has gone down to put her rubbish in the bin and all I can hear is yuck. Someone is shouting yuck, a kid. I've come back inside. I'm just trying to do some sort of experiment as to why I get cross when I go up and see my mum. When it really shouldn't happen, should it? So, I'm a woman. So, let's take my hat off, yeah? So, I'm not bald underneath my hat. I just cropped my hair for short. Right, I've got no partner living with me, no boyfriend, there's nobody living in my flat apart from me and Max. I put a cap on to protect my head because I suffer from a painful condition called trigeminal neuralgia, which I've got at the moment, and I deal with it. And of course, when you suffer from chronic pain, you do get angry and upset and people irritating you, being rude, getting in your way when you're in pain and making really unnecessary noises contributes to stress. And stress, a build up of stress can make you explode. <laughs> and annoying when it's under your bedroom and you're trying to sleep but at the moment I'm wide awake I'm coping with the pain in my jaw and my gums quite well and I take painkillers when necessary what I object to is people using people's disabilities and pain and making fun of them when they get cross and angry when being in pain is not funny nor is having a disability or a mental health illness. It is not funny. People should be helped and cured, not taken the mickey out of and left 
in pain and agony. Right? And I have just been completely normal, which I have done for the past two weeks. And when I feel cross, I relax, I listen to music, and I do my exercises, and I ignore what other people are doing, which in my opinion is not normal. Is to incite and make someone cross for their benefit so they can laugh at them and humiliate them. That is not normal. It's cruel and it's torturous and it should be stopped. Right? It was done to my father. It's been done to my mum. We are not objects of humiliation. My dad was a person, I'm a person, my mother's a person, and we should be treated like people, not dogs, not animals, not third class citizens, normal human beings. So we've got a raucous outside, we've got dogs barking. My dog barks. Barking, dog barking is normal. So it's going woof, 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 woof. Am I cross? No. Am I shouting? No. I am just listening to it. And it is being recorded on YouTube. So people on YouTube can hear outside the woof, 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 woof that goes on just underneath my flat every day. And I, when, when Max yapped at that lady next door, I said, Max, behave and he stopped barking. Is it necessary to keep your dogs continuously barking and barking and barking and not doing... If somebody attempted to stop them barking, that's great. But if you keep leaving them barking, it, it, it can aggravate people. Not just me, it can aggravate someone on drugs, someone that's been drinking, and lead to angry behaviour. So I'm just another hour and uh, a half and my mum will be ringing me to ask me if I want to go up there. Upstairs is actually quiet. It's actually quiet. It's everybody outside that's being noisy because when upstairs used to be noisy, they used to antagonise me outside. Take the mickey, laugh make fun, be loud and noisy to irritate me. So I would entertain them by banging the ceiling, running around acting angry, and then he would get worse, and then you'd bounce off each other. i get angry, i bang the ceiling, he, the kids get worse, they don't get better. If you bang the ceiling, people think, oh my God, I, you know, it happens worse. So the best thing to do is just to act normally. And if other people want to act like ignorant animals, just let them do it, because then everyone can see, you know, it's not me, it's them. So all that noise gets picked up on my microphone, on my camera, and you can see why I get irritated at times by living in this place with all the noise going on, which is normal. If I go to my phone, my phone pinged while I was on the field. It wasn't my son, it was 150 telling me that I need to top up my phone. And I'm being spied on by the Grand Mafia, by Ho Big Daddy. Ho Big Daddy is spying on me. And that's no word of a lie. Ho Big Daddy. Whilst I was on the field, I had a message saying my phone needs topping up. And it pinged. And every ping hurts the tooth that's supposed to have an abscess, but has just been left. So the one tooth that now plays up, which the dentist said to me wasn't an abscess, but still hurts, and is still swollen, in my opinion, and sore, and they've just left it. So every time the phone pings, the tooth hurts. And I'm sorry, I'm not having all my teeth pulled out because every time a noise goes off, it hurts nerves in my teeth. 
because I'm telling you now, I had pain in my foot last night. I had nerve pain in all my little, t my big toe and my little toes. What are you going to do? Take my toes off. So there's nine of my teeth have been pulled out for this nerve pain that keeps going off with noise. And now my, my mid toes are starting to hurt. All the nerves in my toes. You're going to have to take my toes. Take my toes off. I mean, I know that this pain is being caused by something. I don't know what, but something sets the pain off as well. I'm going to wait for my mum to ring. I'm not going to take the anger out on my mum. I'm going to deal with the nerve pain which is in my feet and my tips of my fingers and in that bad tooth. And I'll see you later.